to another episode of Sundays with Selly. This week, we're taking a little field trip. We're here at IMTRA. We are talking about bow thrusters. In particular, we're talking proportionable, uh, variable speed bow thrusters, and that's where you come in. Hi, I'm Peter Nolette with IMTRA. I'm the product manager for thrusters. Um, long time IMTRA employee. I've handled the thrusters since we took them on in 92. Um, the brand is, it was Side Power, and this year they're changing the name to Schleipner. Uh, is a branding change this year. Uh, they've been in business since 1908. And let's kind of get into it a little bit. So uh, traditional thrusters are just single speed on off. So if we look at this, we're just full power on off like this, and you're pulsing that thruster. Notice we're moving the tank, it's a lot of power <laughs> in this little tank. So what we did in 2011 is we said we want to change the way the thrusters are controlled. And we're using basically the same thruster, and all we're doing is changing the way it's controlled. And instead now, we're, we have full proportional control. So from zero to 100%. So if you want to sneak out of that harbor in the morning, we have a, it's very, very quiet. You want that top end, you still have it if you ever need it. The beautiful part of this is, you know, with the traditional on-off thrusters, you know, people would want them to counter 22 knots of side wind. So you'd, you'd size the thruster pretty large. But then you'd never use it because in that single speed on-off mode, it'd be very loud. You'd get the rrrr, rrrr, and people would be embarrassed by that. So now you can still have that really large size thruster, but now you can control all that power, you know, nicely, which is the best thing. This is so in addition to new product, we actually do upgrades because right. a lot of the older product out there uh, were really oversized for the boats where literally you talk to a customer, you go, yeah, I operate the thruster, my boat will heal. Ah. And you go, well, that's way oversized where, you know, doing an upgrade and proportional control can be a new lease on life because now you can actually use that product where you were embarrassed with it maybe before, <laughs> you know, now you can use that product and get a lot more functional use out of that product that you might not have used before. So you can take, if you have an existing thruster, send it back into you guys, right? Reconditioning, go through it. So our program is, we, if, it's, if it's out of warranty, we will actually bring that thruster, the motor up to current standards. So oh, we wow. will give you a fresh two year warranty when we switch over. So it's a good investment if you've got an older product. Um, it's not inexpensive. I mean, you're paying well, for the proportional controller, which is the, this is the piece that really gets added. Right. Okay, because right. this is what magically changes the way we control that thruster. And the, and the nice thing is, so the thrusters have the same directional solenoids on them, like, right. like most other thruster brands. Yep. And they open and close with contacts on an on-off thruster. So right. you're, you're getting contact wear. With this product, what we do is we actually close the contacts before we apply power. Uh, so we're turning clicking. the solenoids into a solid state piece of equipment with no contact. Wear, okay. Okay. Which is really cool. So now, so when we do the upgrades, mm -hmm. usually that is one item that we quote replacement because we do want fresh, clean contacts on the solenoids before we, you know, do that upgrade because Makes they're sense. never going to see wear going forward. Um, other than that, there's very little components that we change on the motors really it tends to be service more than anything you know we'll turn armatures down we'll pull them apart we'll repaint check it, it all out yeah mm -hmm. we'll actually repaint motors we'll bring them up to current again current standards we want it to look good and operate the way it should operate and then also with the variable speed if you do have a bow and a stern you have the ability there with the plus and the minus right to yep. just simply go ahead and give a little bit of propulsion or a lot mm -hmm. This actually is a hold. So we build a hold function for dockside use so you can leave your thrusters running. So you turn them on and you can pin the boat to the dock and plus minus you have five incremental steps on these. And what we say is you get the boat in open water. And in the in here there's a hold calibration because you know every boat is a different shape. Obviously. Yep. So with bow and stern, you know, you want the boat to move perfectly uniform sideways. Okay. Right. So by the whole calibration in open water, you push this, the thrusters come on full power, and then you detune your Back thrusters. It out of there. Okay. So now you have it moving perfectly sideways. So usually you'll have to detune the bow, maybe versus the stern, because you have more mass back there, right. that kind of thing. Um, so once you get it, so the boat's moving perfectly sideways, then you set, your hold calibration is set. Yep. So then these incremental settings work, work off of that Just number. Right up off down, of that. And other direction just shuts it off. Um, so that's really nice coming into a dock or whatever. You want to do some parallel parking or whatever. You can really walk it in is. there without having to work both joysticks and everything else, right? That's exactly right. And, you know, we always make these very close together. So you want to rotate on its own axis. It's very simple. 
Um, the screen is a big part of the system that um, people shouldn't lose sight of because now you have direct feedback of that thruster buried in your bilge boat right here at the helm. So you've got okay. your battery levels. And so you got battery, but you also have your runtime. So because oh, okay. we're still dealing with a DC motor in this application, um, we're gaining a lot longer runtime by running it at less than 100% performance right. because you can keep the amp draw down. Correct. But if we were to run this at full power, it's no different than an on off thruster at full power that we rated about three minutes continuous runtime. Yeah. Okay. So that you're going to lose, you know, the motor's going to generate heat. Obviously. Yep. And as the motor gets hot, these vertical bars will empty. So the first bar, that long bar, is your initial heat generation because mm -hmm. that's the one that takes the longest to come up. And then once that motor's up to an initial heat, it'll, it'll heat up faster over time. Oh, so that's okay. why the bars aren't as tall. Gotcha. So your, your first one empties first, and then they'll empty a little faster as you go along. Starts going down. When you get down to your last two bars, this screen turns red. And beeps at you and tells you, hey, you're getting close to the end of your operation time. Be aware of it. Wow. Because I didn't know that. All right. Anything on a boat, if you know what's coming, <laughs> you can plan accordingly. Right. You know, the surprise is what we don't like when we're out boating. <laughs> you know, so if you can plan, we're good. So, because you don't want to be operating, you don't want to be docking and go, wait a minute, I'm going to lose my thruster in the middle of this. So right. That's the beautiful part. You know, an on-off thruster, you don't get that. With the on-off thrusters, you have no screen. Yeah. So you're just hoping that you have enough runtime, basically. <laughs> so this that's a huge improvement the on this product. Much, much better, obviously, the more you know. Right. Now, the, the cool thing, uh, um, other side of this is integration uh, with these single joystick systems for engines. And, uh, and so if you're an engine guy or gearbox guy, you basically have a joystick. All of them do now to integrate their product with a thruster or thrusters. The newer, newer software versions are bow and stern mm -hmm. with the engines because that way we're playing nice in concert together. You know, if, if you just have a bow thruster with, with engines, the bow thruster actually has, has to oppose engine forces. So now More that bow thruster, bow thruster has to be larger than you would use just as a bow thruster. Correct. Whereas if I have bow and stern, now the thrusters are doing this, your engines are doing this. We play so nice together. So it's the best way. Just to Just makes sense. It's the best software. So that's where uh, a lot of the a lot of the newer software with the joystick companies. That's where they're at now. And if they're not there, they're gonna be there, because it's been an evolution since your Volvo yeah. IPS in '06. It wasn't the pod engines. It was the joystick <laughs> that really took off. And look where we're at now, because Easy everybody's control. got one. Yeah. Well, it's, again, it's what we talked about with with our industry. We want to keep people in our industry and voting, um, and the younger younger crowd. Grew up with video games, and, and they want to make everything easier to handle. And hey, that's how we're going to keep people in our industry. That's right. So. It's all about keeping people out there on the water. Make it fun. Make it safe. Absolutely. And you know, but that's probably the most stressful thing in boating is docking uh, for most people. Yep. Bow thruster. I mean, it's not just for big boats anymore. We're seeing them on smaller and smaller boats now. You know, even you know, 23, 24 foot boats are. We're starting to see these on now. Yep. The worst boats to handle: single engine boat. You know, when, you, when you think about it. And so the. Uh, ZF is unique on these joystick systems, so ZF has uh, the software with bow and stern with a single engine mm -hmm. uh, and a joystick. So now they integrate that all together and you can literally, you can drive with your joystick. It's where a lot of these systems are going. Uh, Volvo IPS is that way, drive with the joystick. Yes. Their shaft drive system from Volvo, same way, um, drive with the joystick because you're integrating the thruster you know, at slower speeds. Yeah, to, exactly. To move you to around. navigate around, yeah. tight quarters, docking, things like that. Well, the thruster is, it, it's nice that way because you, you have a lot less horsepower from the thruster. Um, it's why these systems that don't, they don't integrate a thruster and you're trying mm -hmm. to control, you know, these outboard systems where you're trying to control your bow with all this horsepower in the stern. And nothing. You're wasting front. so much horsepower to try to control that end where just a thruster in the bow would be the most efficient, you know, use or, or way to handle the boat. Uh, and that's where those systems will go. Eventually, you know, we see it now with the with the regular engines. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where everyone is kind of integrated now. So the next shoe to drop probably is going to be our outboards and integration there. It's awesome. Um, because that's where things are growing. You know, that's the market. That's where the market's yeah, at. Look at all the outboard outboard boats now because people are changing <laughs> from main engines to outboards because it's the most inexpensive way to get horsepower. Yeah. Get a lot of power and, and easy. Easy yeah. to engineer on. So. That's exactly right. Space inside the boat, you know, all exactly. those all those, all those pros. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, Peter, thank you very much for your time today and walking us through kind of the pros of not only bow thrusters, but the variable speed bow thruster and you know, just 
all the great stuff that is about that. You guys want to learn more about this stuff? Check out Imtra. I think you guys got a social media presence, right? You're doing, yes, you do. You're doing the, uh, yep. the whole Instagram and all that good stuff. So go ahead, give them a follow. You want to learn more about this stuff, reach out to them. I'm sure they'd love to talk to you guys about getting bow thrusters set up and uh, any of the other multiple items that they have here. So uh, that's it. That is another episode of Sundays with Sellies in the book here. Thank you, guys. Uh, as always, give us a follow, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Tell your friends about it. Share it. All that good stuff. Until next time, I'm going to see what else they got going on here, and we'll go from there. Thanks, Sally. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks.